Good morning, everyone. My name is John Safrit. I'm the Deputy CEO of ALD Automotive. And I'm here this morning to talk to you about understanding the digital mobility revolution. Now, because of the context of COVID, it's difficult for us to be together. And therefore, we thought we'd try something a little bit different today. So rather than talking you through a PowerPoint presentation, I'm going to try to keep you entertained for the next 15 minutes with some insights into the ALD strategy and how we're doing digital to respond to this revolution. Last week, we launched our new strategy, Move 2025. Move 2025 is built around four pillars. The first pillar, Move for Customers, is where we focus on developing new products and services to respond to our client needs and their demands. The second pillar, Move for Growth, is about expanding our geographic coverage and continuing to enhance the existing services that we offer to our clients today, developing new clients and new partnerships as we go. The third is Move for Good, where we ensure that people and corporate social responsibility are at the heart of every decision we make and everything we do. And the fourth is Move for Performance. And here we ensure that we create value for all of our stakeholders in the long term. Now, there are various projects and initiatives that support this strategy, but one theme that runs through every pillar is digital and how we do digital. You don't need me to tell you how digital is impacting our everyday lives. All the time, we're receiving new apps and new solutions that offer new ways of working, living, moving, and it's creating a huge digital footprint. And all of these services are designed to make life better, to bring harmony to our daily lives, and basically to make life more simple for us going forward. Mobility is at the heart of this digital revolution. Armed with a smartphone, people move from A to B, and they've got used to using apps to move from A to B. And there are hundreds of technology startups that are developing digital services to help people move from A to B, and they're targeting this mobility economy. Now, it's fair to say not all of these startups will be able to scale. Not all of them will be able to become profitable. We see some of the large technology startups unable to move into profitability, but it has implications for the existing players in the industry. At ALD, we fundamentally believe that our digital capabilities are central to us being a global leading mobility provider. We believe that digital can enhance our client experience, it can improve the performance of our organization, and it can help us play a leading role in this revolution. And we're gonna share our vision of what we're doing and how we do digital with you over the next 15 minutes. But before we do that, I'd like to introduce Vanessa Govey, who is our Chief Digital Officer, to talk to you how our digital strategy has been constructed and how it supports those four pillars that I mentioned earlier. And after this, I will take you through some of the key initiatives that form the foundation of that digital strategy for us going forward. ALD Digital Strategy is actually structured the same way as the corporate strategy, around the same four key pillars. The first one being performance and the use of digital to help funding the journey freeing up capital, releasing resources that are needed for more, more high impact strategic initiatives. The second is customer and the way we use digital to address customer pain points, enhance differentiation, create value and increase loyalty. The third is about growth and the way digital enables us to create new offerings and new business models. And the last but not least, the way digital helps us in uh, our cultural shift in creating and developing new strategic muscles that complement our traditional strengths, making sure that old and new work together in an agile and coordinated way. Thank you, Vanessa. Well, it sounds cool, doesn't it? And it sounds simple and it sounds easy, but doing digital is not easy. We've learned that at ALD over the last five years, and therefore the things we're going to work on in the next five years are going to be based on that learning. And what I'm going to try to take you through is some of the key ingredients that we've identified that we believe make a success of our digital capability and our digital strategy going forward. It all starts with people. And I know that sounds super simple, and everyone says that, but actually it does. And it starts with the ability of the organization to absorb people who are going to help to change the mindset of the organization and who are going to change the way the organization thinks about itself. You need people to be coming into the organization and challenging your existing models. And you have to create a culture where they, you can embrace these new minds and these new digital natives because they're dangerous and they're different and they think and act differently. At ALD, we identified this need and we decided to take the jump five years ago and we created an innovation community. 
It was a voluntary innovation community. We invited people that wanted to play to come and play. But it was made up of young talents, digital talents, different to me, different to a lot of the senior managers. And initially it was difficult to bond with them and understand what they were trying to achieve in the organization. When they sat in front of us talking about design thinking as a way of designing new products and being driven by the data, it was a bit alien to where we were five years ago. But over time they've won us over. And over time they've shown us how working with customers and looking at the challenge differently and applying a digital native mind to some of the challenges reaps its own rewards and successes. And the real proof is when we put them in front of our customers because we do put these people in front of our customers. And the customers say, wow. Well, they say, wow, most of the time. Sometimes they don't like what we do. But even if they don't like what we do, they tell us what they do want. And we started to see customers getting excited. We started to see people getting excited by what they were doing. And therefore, we looked to nurture this community and we looked to make it grow and enable it and develop it and widen it across the rest of the organization. So the first ingredient is people. And that digital revolution, regardless of what's going on outside, starts from within the company. It needs to be developed. It needs to be looked after. And in ALD over the next five years, we're going to be ensuring that our digital academy helps support every single employee on the transition to developing a new digital mindset and helping us develop more new products and services such as ALD Flex, ALD Move, Swap, our subscription offer in Norway, and other new products that we've been working on through the Innovation Committee. The second ingredient is technology. And by technology, I mean having an architecture that enables these creative digital natives that we talked about previously to have an impact on the organization. If you don't have the right technology, then everything takes too long and everything is never quite right. And the changes take months to deploy. And those digital natives that are driving this digital revolution leave the company because they get frustrated about their inability to deliver what they want to deliver. Five years ago, we began to unpick our technical architecture. We looked at our front end first. And the reason we looked at our front end was because in the digital world, customer experience is king. That's the key differentiator. And in an industry with such strong competition and so many partners, we need to ensure that each of our partners can differentiate themselves and provide their own unique journey to their clients, but also make sure that the ALD journey can be unique as well. We rebuilt our front ends as a platform, not a system. A platform is like a box of Lego. You can pick all the pieces up and create new models and create different versions of what you're trying to achieve. Whereas a system is a big bucket of things that you have to open up, make changes, test it and close it to put it back together. And these Lego bricks, this concept of a platform gives you a different level of agility when you're trying to bring new products to the market and work and attract new partners. These Lego bricks are now being reused across a whole range of our products and services, not just in our partnership space, not just in our front end space, but we're using it on our core MyLD platform. We're using it for our ALD Flex product, which we launched in June. We're using it for ALD Move, our mobility solution, and also on Car Market, our digital remarketing platform. And the ambition is to be able to create the best in life customer experience for all of our clients and all of our partners. And we'll continue to invest in digital to enhance this customer experience and make sure that we can compete and also complement the great tech startups that we're seeing in the mobility space. And you all know when people have got it on digital because when you ask people about the best apps on their phone or the best services, they, they just look at you and say, it just works. It's simple, it's cool, it just helps me get stuff done. And that's our ambition for ALD on the digital side. Now, by the way, those first two components I've talked about, people and technology, all of those new tech companies coming into the mobility ecosystem, they can't believe we're talking about it. That's normal for them. They can't believe we're continuing a discussion about what these things need to be and how we're going to develop them. But anyway, we can move on. Remember those first two ingredients, people and architecture. The third ingredient is speed, being quick, being agile. And you have to have an operating model in your organization to empower people to be responsive to client needs. Large centralized organizations don't get this. They believe that centralization brings scale and cost efficiency. But we know that what you think you gain from that scale and cost efficiency by centralizing everything, you lose in terms of your agility to service the clients on the ground. 
At ALD, we cover 43 countries and we have ambitions to cover more. And I'm not qualified in Paris to know what a client in Chile, Ukraine or Germany want. And I'm definitely not qualified to standardize that journey and not allow the local flavors to come through and the local products and services to come through. So we have an organization that empowers the local people to act. And our role in the head office is to provide them with platforms and support and information to help them provide those solutions quicker to their clients. The world of digital mobility is unique and transformational and personalized. And therefore, without this agility and speed, you can't expect to win in the digital mobility revolution. The fourth ingredient is partnerships. The digital mobility ecosystem is so big and so huge and so diverse that it won't be one company that wins. It will be collaborations between companies that create the best client experience. There's too many local variants with different supplies in each city for one company to be able to cover all of those urban spaces successfully. And the skill here is to build an ecosystem of those partnerships to help you win. Finding the right combination of tech companies, urban mobility providers, clients, suppliers, the right technology to bring them together, those are key. And mobility is a thing. There's a lot of investment happening in mobility startups. There's a lot of people out there that want to work and collaborate to create a better, more sustainable future. At ALD, our ambition is to play a leading role in that space. Our ALD Move mobility platform enables us to offer a seamless door-to-door -door mobility service for the employees of our corporate clients. We can update it real time. We can link it to their work calendar so they only enter their appointments once. And we can build in the corporate client's need to be more responsible and drive more sustainable means of mobility amongst their employees. And we can seamlessly integrate offers from other mobility providers across a number of different geographies. And we have an ambition in 2025 for ALD Move to be established in all the major European cities. Now, I didn't mention co-creation. When you're developing these digital tools and when you're establishing partnerships, the client and the partners are a critical part of that. And at ALD, we actively pursue a policy of co-creation with our clients and partners. We know we can't do it on our own. We know we don't have all the answers. And we love inviting their expertise and knowledge to help us get there much faster together. Partnerships and the ability to create partnerships that add value for both parties will be a critical ingredient to be successful in the digital mobility revolution. And finally, no talk about the digital mobility revolution would be complete without talking about data. Data, data, data. Everyone's talking about data. And in the mobility industry, we've got data everywhere. Geolocalization data, historic data, maintenance data, connected car data, behavioral data. But the thing about data is it's only useful if it tells the user something about themselves that they didn't know anyway, or it provides some insight to help them live a better life either at work or at play. And that brings us to connected car data. There's no point telling a user which journeys they've already carried out because they already knew. And there's no point telling them how many times they broke the speed limit because they already knew. The key with connected car data is to find value and insight in there which creates new knowledge for the client to act upon. We've been spending two years building our connected car platform with Vinley. It's device agnostic. It normalizes all the data. It means we can take data from any source. And it comes with a data science platform that means we can mine that data real time. We'll be publishing a study during Fleet Europe which talks about some analysis we've done on driver behavior in the UK. We analyze journey data of 10,000 company car drivers in the UK, real data. And we were looking to see whether their behavior could help us support the transition towards more sustainable mobility solutions, i.e. moving into electric vehicles. And what we found was that two thirds of those drivers only travel more than 200 miles on one day or less per month. And if you increase the threshold to 250 miles, it increases to above 80%. And what that tells us is that 80% of those company car drivers can make a relatively seamless and painless change into an electric vehicle tomorrow, and it won't disrupt their normal day-to-day -day habits. This is insight, this is using data to support our clients. And by the way, that kind of transition would relate to a 70% reduction in CO2 emissions. So we'll continue to look at data, we'll make significant investments to build our data muscles and develop a deeper and more collective insight into the data we have today. So in summary, the ingredients, people, technology architecture, agility, partnerships, and data. 
The key digital areas where we continue to invest to maintain a leading position in this exciting new digital world called mobility. Thank you for your time. I hope it was useful and interesting, and I hope you stay safe. And I look forward to having the chance for us all to get together very soon.